Good morning, friends. This is Lisa. Just thought I would uh, get on here and maybe talk about some of the things that happened when I was a child. Um, I was three years old when my mom married my stepfather. Not long after they was married, he started to molest me. Um, I don't know why I remember that I was three. I just remember that I was three. Um, you know, first he, he would uh, take me out of bed. I would find myself, I would wake up. I don't know if he would wake me up or if I would wake up on my own, but I'd be on the couch. He'd be beside me with my hands on him. He was showing me what he wanted me to do at three. When it became um, to having intercourse, I, I don't know. I don't remember. I, I remember saying, it hurts. It hurts. I'm not sure how old I was. I really don't. But it went on for a long time, from the time I was three until I was 11. Now, mind you, I told people, this happened in the 70s. I told people that, you know, he, he's doing things. He's, he, he's hurting me. It, no one believed me. They said, you're just lying. Why do you do that? Why do you lie like that, Lisa? They just would not believe me. Why they believe me the last, I don't know. But he never spent a day in jail. I was told later by my mom he paid a $750 fine. That was it. For what he did. Many years later he said, you, You'll never forgive me, will you? I'm like, You're right. You're right. I may forgive you, but I'll never, ever forget why you did it his reason was your mom made me do it I said how is that possible how did mom make me do make you do that did mom make you go and pick me up out of bed a couple nights a week or maybe three nights a week or during the day because I, I knew, I knew if I was left alone with him, I knew it was going to happen. If I didn't, he would beat me severely. And he did. He beat me a lot. I would carry black and blue marks all over my body. I was six years old. He beat me with a two by four and broke it. That's how, how hard he was hitting me. Why? I don't know. I have no idea what I did as a six-year-old that deserved that. But all the time, I never knew when I was going to get hit, why I was going to get hit, or, or knew what not to do so I wouldn't get hit. He was just a very mean, mean, mean man. Should have never, ever been around kids. Should have never had kids. But of course, my mom turned around and had at least one that we know of to him. The second one is real iffy. Uh, even... Uh, my youngest sister, which is to that man, says that she doesn't believe that the the boy in our family belongs to that man because she remembers my mom taking her as a baby, as a, as a child, as a toddler, to see a man. Um, that was just my mom. M my mom would go from one man to the next. 
she went from my dad uh, and there's a big if if I have a full sister or not I know I have lots of half sisters on my dad's side but my dad always said that my sister wasn't his because he said yo your mom took off and when she come back she was pregnant so I, I don't know I have no idea the only way we'd ever know is if my sister would agree to, um, you know, like ancestry DNA. But she would never do that. Never, ever do that. Because she stuck so far up our dad's ass that it's unreal. I can't stand him. I cannot stand to be around him. He is an alcoholic. He is a mean alcoholic. I can't deal with it. I cannot deal with someone that drinks every single day and gets mean. Um, my dad gets physically. I've seen him do it. I've seen him do it with our uh, stepmother. Just beat her unreal. Took a golf club after her. Ran. She was running through the house to get away from me. After that, I, I made sure I come back home. I mean, you know, it was either you watch that crap or um, take a chance of coming back to Ohio because they lived in California. Come back to Cal come back to Ohio and take a chance of getting uh, molested and raped. Thank God he had moved on. Who he moved on to, I don't know. But I was always afraid he was going to do that to my little sister or my little brother. And I remained friends with him. It, it ate me up to have to uh, deal with him. But I was afraid for my sister. And no one understands that. No one understands what I went through to make sure that he didn't do that to my sister and brother. All they can say is, well, how could you be friends with him? How can you not? You don't know what's ha what's going to happen. You know, my sister said he never touched her. And I thank God that he didn't. Because I don't want anybody else to go through what I had to go through. And then people say, oh, you're lying. Why are you doing that, Lisa? Why are you lying? They just don't understand <laughs> what it does. It just eats you up. You know, I try to move on, and I think I do. And then, you know, something will cause a flashback, and it's like, why now? Why all these years? Why does it come back now? You know, I, I'm 57 years old. This happened when I was between... 3 and 11. I, I just wanted to put it to rest. To leave me alone. But I don't know. I, I'm sitting here in the van. I'm at a park. I was. I had been sleeping for a couple hours. And I woke up and decided I needed to talk to somebody. And I know I have friends out there that... I can talk to and maybe understand what I've been going through. I can only hope that it gets easier. I, I am going to be moving in with some people um, that I dearly love. I love their little girls. I never had any girls and I always wanted girls. So, friends, I hope you have a good day and have fun. Just remember to love each other and have fun. See you on the next video. Bye.